Hello, welcome back everyone to Not From This World's Daz Studio tutorial series. Today I want to talk a little bit more about realism and making your renders look better. And today we're going to be using a few techniques in DeForce and with the geometry editor to make our girl uh, sit or lay on the bed in a more realistic way. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about how to have our girl lay on the bed so that she pushes into our bed as though she's laying in it. Now you can do this with um, chairs, beds, you know, anything that's soft that a character is going to sit in, we want to put a divot, we want to put some pressure down on that chair or bed so that it looks more realistic. And then also, I'm going to take our bed and we're going to make a bed sheet that is going to partially cover our girl so that it looks like she's laying on the bed. So I've got my character and I've got her positioned, as you can see, kind of on the bed. But this does not look very good. Um, you know, if, if I move her down, she's going into the bed. We want her to look like she's laying on the bed and putting pressure on the bed itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of raise her up. And the bed prop that I'm using is a prop that's got several parts to it. So if we look at it, you can see that we've got, it says a bed set. We've got the bed. The bed has a sheet and a quilt and a couple pillows. So, um, you know, it's a pretty good prop in that I can separate things. Like I can click on the quilt and see I can move the quilt and we can kind of move it out of the way. I can also click on the bed sheet. And if you notice, what's kind of interesting is there's no mattress on this bed. It's just the sheet. And so you can see um, the bed is made up of a frame and then this bed sheet. But that's okay. This looks pretty good. Now, the, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna make the bed sheet uh, what we call a modified surface. And that's going to allow me to have the girl put pressure on the bed sheet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a smoothing modifier to the bed sheet so that we can put pressure on it with the girl. And this will make it look a little more real. So I'm going to take my bed sheet. I'm going to go to edit. We're going to go down to Object, go across to Geometry, and then I'm going to select where it says Add Smoothing Modifier. Now, when I add that smoothing modifier, nothing really seems to happen. So once I have the modifier in place, I'm going to click on the bed sheet go to mesh smoothing and just click on it here in my parameters tab and then I've got some tabs that I can select. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a collision item. So we want our girl to go into the sheet. So I'm going to collide my sheet with my Milica character. So I just click on that, select Milica, hit accept. Now the sheet is going to collide with Milica. So if I select Milica, I can um, move her and we're going to see that she's going to modify the sheet. Now, again, we're going to have to kind of play with this, but you can see hopefully that she is now pushing down on that sheet. 
Now, if you go too deep, you can see the sheet begins to kind of modify around her. See, now it's covering her arm. So we have to kind of manipulate it a little bit, but you can definitely see that she is pushing down onto that sheet. Now we can improve this by going back to the sheets mesh smoothing and we can play with this what's called smoothing iterations. I believe it's defaulted to two. If we change this number, if we jump it up to let's say 10, it's going to help modify the mesh smoothing and contour better with our character. So you can see now her hand, for example, right here, her hand is pushing down on the bed a little bit better than it was if I have it selected at two. So the mesh smoothing iterations um, is going to help you if you increase that number. Now there's a limit to this. Um, you know, if I, if I in, increase it to like 25, it may really help or it may not. So again, you just kind of have to um, work with that number a little bit and see which number works the best. So see, even at 25, if I move Milica down a little too much, it looks like the sheet is covering her. So it's kind of covering her arm. So we, we have to be careful. And I actually liked that smoothing iteration at 10. I think that looked even better than 25. But the, the smoothing iterations is something that you need to play with and uh, get it set up where it looks appropriate. Okay, so now we kind of have her pushing down on the bed, which adds some realism. Next, we want to cover her up. Now, I have this quilt that I moved up. And see, if I bring it down, um, we want this to lay on top of her. Now, I don't want her to be completely covered, so I'm going to have to manipulate this, perhaps um, move it so that when we run a simulation in D-Force, it will um, kind of lay over her in a way where we can still see the parts of her that we want to see, like her face, maybe her upper torso. So I can kind of get it into position where we want it. And I think that looks pretty good. I can also change it, the size of this quilt. So to make it look better, I can shrink it or I could grow it. But what we want to do is we want to get it into a position where it's perhaps covering her feet but not uh, from the waist up. So I kind of like that position. Click on the simulation tab. We're gonna keep our bones from memorized posed off because we don't want our girl to stand up in the A pose and then pose down. What we want is just this quilt to come down onto her. So we're gonna leave that start bones from memorized pose off and I'm not gonna really mess with anything else in the simulation, and we're just gonna run a simulation. Okay, so our quilt is just not working. And the reason why it's not working is because this quilt is not a very good prop. And so if I zoom in on it, we're gonna go to wire um, shaded here. And when we do that, you can see that the quilt does not have a lot of resolution. So the quilt is trying to fold onto our girl, but it's just not really doing a good job. Now, there's an easy way to get around this, and that is we are not going to use the quilt that came with the bed. So I can actually get rid of this, we can delete it or just get rid of it. I'm gonna make my own quilt 
and I'm going to just do that with a primitive. So I'm going to create a plane, go to my primitive tab, go to a plane. And what we want to do is we want to make sure it has lots of divisions. So I'm going to keep it at 200. Let's see how that works. And I'm going to um, accept this and I'm going to create this plane. Now with the plane, I'm going to raise it up and you can see I've just got this this plane and we're going to turn this into a quilt so or a blanket for our girl so we need to make this into a d-force modified plane so in order to do that just click on it make sure your plane is selected go up to edit object uh, geometry and then we're going to turn this into a dynamic surface all right, now see, look, if I go back to my wire shaded, you can see that there are many more polygons that make up this plane now. A lot more than what made up that quilt. So this should do a nice D-force uh, simulation so in order to do that I think first of all I'm gonna make it a color so that we can see it better I don't want to keep this plain white let's change it um, to better color so we can just see it I uh, will make it purple okay so now we can kind of see this purple blanket and to run a D-Force, I don't want it touching anything, so I've got to raise it above my girl's body. So we don't want it touching anything. And you can see I've got it above her. Okay, so I'm going to move this. Her feet are going to be an issue. So what we want to do, as you can see, you know, her feet are just not working very well. So I'm going to cover her up. But we're going to rearrange this so that we don't have her feet being covered. It'll probably look better anyway if her feet aren't covered. So we're going to uncover her feet for this and just kind of have this little blanket draping over her. Now, the thing that I've got to be careful of is I don't want this touching any part of her. So, you know, what's cool is we can we can rotate this plane and I can tilt it so it's actually not touching her. Um, we just don't really want it touching her when we run a simulation. So you can see now it's not touching her. I'm actually going to move it back just a hair. Don't want it touching her leg. I don't think it's touching any part of her now. All right, I got her leg is over it, but not touching it. So let's do this, and then let's uh, let's go to the simulation and let's simulate it. All right, I think that looks pretty good. We've got. We've got a little blanket covering her. We can we can see our divot from the modifier. This looks good. Let's see our render. And you know, you can mess with this. You can change the texture. This looks like she's kind of wearing a pl something plastic. We can definitely fix that, you know. Um, just change your plane's surface. And, you know, we can find something that um, is a little bit more realistic. You know, if I go browse into my textures, I can find um, a more realistic quilt color. I have, I can't remember what, yeah, but like right here, my purple bedding. So see, I can just change it. And then when we render it, 
she will have a more realistic covering to her. Okay, so there's our render. I think it looks pretty good. Milika is cute as ever and uh, lounging around. So I really appreciate you watching my videos. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. And let me know if you have any ideas for what you want to see as far as the tutorial goes. want to keep things simple as possible to make rendering fun. So check it out and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Take care. Thank you.